Hello my beautiful friends, good morning, happy new week, you're welcome to another vlog. My name is Akusia, if you're new, if you're if you're a new subscriber, I just want to say hi, okay, good morning, happy new week, I hope you're doing well, thank you so much for subscribing to this channel and becoming a member, I appreciate that, okay. Um, happy new week, it's Monday, I'm obviously dressed and at work. It's 9.30 a.m. Monday the 30th of October. It's Halloween today and tomorrow. But obviously I don't do Halloween. I don't really have anything Halloween. <laughs> Jackie also doesn't really have anything Halloween. We're planning on going for something that I don't know. But she is. She's going to look into it. But she's the one who's just texting me. Good morning, ma'am. How are you doing? Um, I'm so sorry that I didn't text you yesterday. I actually didn't think about it. But I, yeah, you mentioned. See you. Bye. I'm going to put on my headphones because it's like work time. It's work time for me. In front of, ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch. That's such a chaotic way to get in the day oh my goodness okay so i had to put on my headphones because it's like actually wet time i have therapy <gasps> oh i have therapy at 10. <laughs> so that's um a quick little life update i put myself in therapy i oh i didn't even want to talk to you guys about it but i guess here we are i did put myself in therapy on better help so it's on my phone um but the reason why i put myself in therapy is um losing my mom at the age of 18 i didn't think that it had had i didn't think that it had had so much effect on me i thought that it was something that i was going to get over but apparently something that i can never get over and um the damage that it did to me and i like to say that it's damage because it put me in a mindset of feeling like um i don't want to open up to a lot of people again because i'm scared to lose people and that's where losing my mom um, losing my mom put me that's the mind frame that it put me in and i, I know that I, I haven't really spoken much about it but it's something that i've been dealing with it's something that i've had to deal with it's a mindset that i'm trying to work on because um I, it's inevitable you know like when i think about it and i just think about how my mom went away it's crazy because i would never think that i would lose my mom she was so young she was 49 so I would never think that she was going to die. I envisioned my future with my mom. I envisioned this life that I'm having right now with my mom, you know? I just I just envisioned having my mom around and you know, she's gonna be a grandma to my kids. But all of that was taking away and it was so sudden. Um, and I feel like at the time, I didn't even take so much time to think about it because I was so young. But the more I grow, the more it has an effect on me. And that's that's literally where I'm at right now. So I decided I was going to put myself in therapy, you know, just to talk it over with a professional. Because every time that I feel like I, I'm getting over that mindset, it just keeps getting there and it's affecting my friendships and you know it's just generally affecting the way i feel about people and you know putting me in a place where i feel like well you don't have to get close to people because they're gonna die or you're going to lose people and it sounds huh, even me talking about it with you guys it's like i don't know but yeah that's that's what that situation did to me is something that i've been dealing with silently uh but i've been in therapy this is why this is going to be my second session with this lady she's really nice um but it's through be better help it's not even a sponsored it's not even a sponsored post or a sponsored ad i really wish i was working with them made it easier right but no i'm paying for this so i am going through that just to you know heal myself from that type of trauma and even though i didn't want to admit that it was some sort of trauma that i went through losing my mom at the age of 18 that was trauma it was trauma and you know you don't see the essence of a mom or you don't like see the essence of a person until you don't have them again and that for me with my mom it has hit me so much and it just keeps hitting me every day because we all know how moms are relevant we all know how you know your mom is a relevant figure in your life so imagine not having your mom i don't even imagine it but just like 
the thought of it is crazy but it happened to me so yeah if you are also i mean if you've lost your mom or if you've lost a parent then you probably feel or can relate to what i'm saying if you guys are really close because i was my mom's only daughter so you can imagine like we were legit sisters so she was legit like my best friend and then she passed it hit me crazy but i don't want to open the vlog off on like sad sappy sorry sad i don't want to do that no it's a new week i am in therapy um i'm gonna be going into the session at 10 it's 9 37 again it's a session on my phone i chose the text session because i don't want to talk to anyone i don't want to see anyone like i'm very i'm a little iffy about therapy i'm not gonna lie i'm still coming to terms with the fact that it's good and it's something that actually helps and this experience for me is actually changing my perception on what therapy is because as an african girl i'm not gonna lie therapy is not something that is talked about a lot back home it's not something that they preach a lot they don't say how beneficial it could be to you um so i'm just allowing myself to demystify all the things that i have learned from back home and just you know build a new reality for myself heal myself make myself the best version of myself for myself and for my family you know so yeah <laughs> but i'm gonna get into work i do have something new that i want to unbox with you guys always unboxing stuff i feel like sometimes i feel like it might be overwhelming for some of you guys because it might look like i'm always buying stuff but i always like to put it out there i work with amazon okay i work with amazon as an influencer and it's a very great opportunity literally the life the most life-changing opportunity that i've ever gotten as an influencer um it's legit it's turned my life around like it's legit it turned my life around so but this is from Amazon. We have some new shoes. These are winter shoes. And it's exciting. Oh my goodness. Like, like what is that? <laughs> and you know when I say what is that, it means that it's exceeded my reality. <laughs> like, it has exceeded. I broke my, my dream in Texas. That's what I'm trying to say. Because it's so cute. Like, I mean, I have a bunch of winter shoes. But I keep getting more because I can never get enough of these nice fuzzy warm just i'm just a warm girl okay i love to stay warm all the time and this is just legit right down my alley i love it so much but i wanted to show you before um i took it out of the box because it's really cute if you're looking for something fall cozy i think you can wear this out to grocery i don't know what it's called but it's from a brand called Whoa. so you can check them out i will leave a link for you guys down below this is really really good like look at the heel look at the platform that you're getting with this like you can definitely dress with this like take this to errands grocery all of that stuff that's why i got it because sometimes you know sometimes you don't want to wear shoe sometimes i don't want to wear kambu i just want to you know throw on something simple but still warm and go out that's that's what this is for me because these you guys know that i have these but these are like bunny ears like i just walk around the house with them so they're not like ones that i can take out so these for me are perfect 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 but yeah that's all i have that's all i wanted to show you for right now i'm gonna get into work again i um i have therapy at 10 so i'm gonna get into that and work at the same time and I'm also doing my tarot reading on the side. I do my morning tarot reading every morning. What did I say? I just said every morning. Morning tarot. You get what I'm saying. I do my reading every morning. It's my tarot reading or some people might say tarot. I don't know. <laughs> and I think I will go into it. I do get questions sometimes um, about religion and spirituality but let me just put it out there i am more on the spiritual side i believe i grew up as a religious person but then i have grown into a spiritual person i don't like to talk about it because i respect everybody's beliefs i respect everybody's decision for life so and i feel like people should respect other people's beliefs as well so if somebody doesn't believe what you believe it doesn't exactly mean that you're better than the person or the person is better than you you know so i like to put that out there I'm going to get into my reading, get into work, basically do my day, and then I'll see you guys when I see you, okay? Happy New Week! Hey 
Hey guys, but it is much later. I have closed from work. I just finished taking my shower. Um, I mean, I just got out of the shower. Let me make sure that the video looks good because I'm using, I'm trying to play around with my camera, you guys. Like I'm like, you know, playing around with the settings. This is currently manual, okay? This is all me. It's not auto, okay? It's not on um, intelligent auto. Originally, that's what I do. I put it on intelligent auto. But I've been trying to like learn about the camera some more and just play around with the camera some more. And yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm loving it. I am currently doing my nighttime routine. That's the radio that you guys hear in the background. Uh, but I'm currently doing my nighttime routine so I can go to bed. It's I think it's almost 9 p.m. today for whatever reason. I finished everything so fast. And now it's 9 p.m. We're just gonna chill out for a second. I'm watching Get Gutty on Netflix. I think it's a documentary. I don't know, I like watching documentaries about like things that have happened, <laughs> real life stuff. I like watching that. So I'm just, it's just really random, but hey you guys, comment below if you have anything that you're watching that you think is interesting that I should watch. Comment below and let me know, because I would love that. Because um, right now I don't have anything that I'm seriously watching. I don't. It's been a good day. It's almost that time of the month for me. So, my system is legit all over the place. I'm so bloated. I feel a little out of place out of touch with myself um but well, i'm gonna be doing some self-care practices over the weekend just to help me relax and you know calm me down so that should be nice but yeah to be a woman now wow <laughs> am i too bright for you guys let me see okay that's a lot better i also took off my nails you guys know that I do acrylic dip powder, so it's not like actual nails nails. I just took off the acrylic part, so it's just my natural nails for right now. I will do my nails this week, um, whenever I have the strength to do it. But I will do my nails this week and, you know, just I'm thinking I'm doing nude. I never really, I like nude, but I am a red girl, like, at hats to the core i love my red okay i love my red nails i will do it every second <laughs> and not change it but for the reason i want to do for me it's either red at this point it's either red or like plain just plain like clear with maybe a french tip kind of like that i could do that Oh, but I will do my nails. I'm wearing the night tea that I was wearing this morning. I told you guys it's really nice and sexy. So if you're looking, I will link for you guys. But I'm going to go to bed. Honestly, I'm going to go to bed. My Monday is done. <laughs> so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. All right. Good morning, you guys. The cutest thing. Happy Tuesday, you guys. Good morning. I literally just had to like rush out of work. <laughs> because jackie is here this is the cutest thing ever let me show you guys she doesn't want to be on camera but let me show you who is here hello <laughs> it is so cold outside. i know come 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 oh my god you are so cute let's go to the living room okay. you guys my living room is so warm you yes yes you already know that my heater is always on so Oh my god, look at what Jackie did. Oh my gosh, I can't wear my hair. Oh my god, you guys. Look at this. Like, I <laughs> she is so cute. That's her little boo basket. I know. Get you a friend that is giving you a <laughs> boo basket, okay? I'm here to buy. And then I just started seeing stuff, and then I was like, she said she wanted these socks. So then I got I the socks. I know, you're so cute. Other little things. But it's nothing big. Can you I know. Stop? Either way, it's the, it's the thoughtfulness for me. It's the fact that you talk about me. Like, ah! Good evening, you guys. I don't know what's happening with my audio, but I'm hoping that you guys can hear me. I don't have my, um, you know, Boya microphone because I'm having to charge that. I have my Rode video mic, which is supposed to be the good one. 
but here she is acting crazy anyway i just closed from work happy tuesday uh, i know you guys have already seen me Jax was here earlier today she's so cute let me tell you a little backstory okay i was there um and then you know like you know she was just texting me randomly and then she asked me what my size was like my shoe size but that was so random and then this morning yesterday no this morning i woke up and then i saw a message from her she said she wanted to drop something over and then i didn't see it yesterday so i saw it this morning and then she said she could drop it over last night or this morning and mind you jackie lives like two minutes away from me and she drives fast so you can imagine that's like a quick run for him so she said she was gonna drop the thing over and i'm like yeah yeah, yeah drop it over like whatever time because i have training all week so i'm not actually working i'm just gonna be in training all week um till friday so i told her to drop it over and she said she made me a boo basket because it's Halloween. It's the, mind you, it's the 31st of October today. And she said she made me a boo basket. And I'm like, what is a boo basket? And she's like, it's Halloween. So it's just like a cute little Halloween basket. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. It's like, it's the thoughts for me. It's like the thoughts behind it that counts. Like, it, may, it means a lot to me. I'm not even going to lie. So Jax, if you're watching this vlog, I just want to say... I love you okay I'm so grateful um, for you so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go grab the basket we're gonna go into it see what Jax grabbed um, or what Jax gave me in my boot basket and just oh it's so cute like it is so freaking cute let me go and grab the basket okay here is my boot. <laughs> you guys isn't this crazy this little mama she's I hope you guys can ignore her but isn't this just crazy ah, like Jax made me this entire basket <laughs> it is so cute like it's this is so cute okay this is so cute let me show you guys I have another battery just in case you guys go off um, but let's see what we have here I have some chaga <laughs> this is so cute because she mentioned that she had got um, like a longer cable charger and it was so helpful because she could move around very easily in her place and so she had to get me one and lo and behold she did get me one so that's nice she got me two <laughs> she got me two she got me two I guess because she knows that my husband is around so she knows that my husband is probably going to use one as well but that is so thoughtful thank you so much and then I have a little charger head and it's purple it's so girly and cute like oh and then look she got me these when i went to her place um the other time that i the first time that i went to her place right i saw that she had these socks and i had told her that i wanted some because i had tried to get some the ones that i got for whatever reason they were not like the ones that she gave me and then i said i was asking her where she got them and then she got me some and they smell so good she got me actually quite a number of them oh my goodness jackie is so cute like oh my goodness <laughs> oh this is so good and let me tell you when i went to her place i saw that she had a little like um winter sock basket or winter socks basket i don't know what she calls it but it was just a basket full of like socks and stuff and I found it so cute and then when I came home I literally replicated the same thing and then I told her that um, can't get see you now I have a socks basket so it's so cool because I get to fill it up with all these and oh it's so cool <laughs> and she got me some face mask <laughs> I love her for this because she knows that I do beauty content so she got me that it's actually quite a number of them so we're gonna be self-caring this weekend I love that <laughs> she put a card next to it so we'll read this I'll take a look at what is inside this so let's see and then she puts she put a gratitude journal here oh, this, oh I don't know how Jack's like I didn't like it this is just all so thoughtful like I don't know how she thought of all these things but she, I guess she knows that I like cute stuff like I live for cute stuff I always say this I live for like cute packaging cute stuff like it is just my vibe and she did that like oh <laughs> it's so cool 
and then she put a she put a weekly planner oh my goodness it's like all the things that i like to do i live for to-do list i live for scheduling and just having things in order and this is for me okay uh, there's just so many things here i don't even know what to do <laughs> okay so we have a candle No, <clears throat> you guys know that we went all the way to home goods to try to get some candles so this has so far become like a friendship little friendship language because we're always talking about new candles and new spots to buy candles so this is really nice because you know it's like oh it's so cute <laughs> it is so cute <laughs> and we don't play with our wine and our tequila and patron she got me a tequila because she knows. She knows. I only drink tequila and red wine. I mean, I only drink tequila and wine. All types of wine. Moscato, all types of wine, okay? Oh, this is... <laughs> this is just so thoughtful. This is so cute. Like, And the crazy part is today is the... About to go crazy like, it's so exciting because today is the last day of my fastoba challenge that i was doing fasting for the whole month of october today's the last day so i can actually take this i mean it was never really a problem taking alcohol when i was fasting because fasting doesn't have any of those restrictions but i can actually take this because i know when i wake up tomorrow morning i can have breakfast if i have a hangover or something like that you know what i'm saying but this is exciting this is exciting okay so i have a few more things i have some more socks because she went all out with the socks like she got a lot of them like a lot of them and then she got me some fuzzy shoes i think this is why she was asking for my shoe size this is a perfect fit for me my my feet is just perfect for this i think yep it's a medium size seven to eight which is perfect for me i have another one And then she got me little bottles of tequila. <laughs> Isn't this girl cute? I have tequila reposado, I have tequila coconut, and then I have tequila agave, which is just clear. I love this. And then she got me custom. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had Casamigos, but it's also tequila, but I don't think I've had particularly Casamigos before. So this is exciting because I'm about to have this like maybe today. I don't know. Maybe today. I'm, I'm, I'm maybe today. And then the little basket. Oh, this is so cute. This is just all so cute. Oh, <laughs> I'm just like really happy. Um, and <clears throat> like I said before, it's the thoughts that counts for me. It's just somebody like going all out and thinking about me i'm really grateful for people like that you know i'm grateful for all the people in my life that go all out to think about me and in this moment i'm grateful for Jax. like i am so grateful for jackie thank you so much Jax. if you're watching this vlog i know you're gonna be watching it because you watch all my videos but thank you so much girl i will see you on sunday <laughs> but you guys yes so that's really exciting that's everything that i have um from jackie's little boo baskets not so little what am i saying it's not even so little that's all i have from my big boo basket from my friend i'm excited um i'm gonna just chill for a bit i'm not really cooking today i'm not gonna lie because i cooked some rice earlier today so that is what we're still having I want us to finish that but from Pai is still sleeping she took a nap somewhere around like three four ish and she's still sleeping so that's good um but it's still 6 44 i'm just gonna sit down breathe for a second you know inhale my boo basket call jackie <laughs> you know just catch up with her really quickly um and i'll see you guys when it's time for my nighttime routine because i want us to chat about something totally different okay something exciting but also totally different so i will see you in a little bit there's gonna be one second for you but trust me it's gonna be a few hours for me oh you guys i forgot i totally forgot to read this but i think it just says happy halloween 
Let me see. So it says, thank you, on top of this. And then inside here it says, happy Halloween, darling. <laughs> thank you for being a friend. Oh, she's so cute. I appreciate you for all you have done for me. Heart Jacks, like, oh, let me show you it's so cute. Like, she did a written note, like, oh, it's the time for me. It's the time that was put in this for me. So this is cute. I packed it back in the box because I had to take a thumbnail for you guys. I just had to take a thumbnail for my, my, my video, but, um, yeah. Hey, guys. Happy Wednesday. I just closed from work. I know yesterday I left you guys hanging. I said we're supposed to talk. But I slept very early. <laughs> I just literally went to bed. I'm not gonna lie. So I didn't see you. Um, but happy Wednesday. It's five. So I'm about to make some potatoes for her so she can have something to eat. Um, but I also wanna make some gnocchi. Ooh! I wanna try to make some homemade gnocchi. But can you imagine? Like, I don't know what it's with me but i will make my stuff at home even if i haven't had it before even if i haven't like even if i have no idea of like how it's gonna turn out i'm still gonna try so i want to make some gnocchi for dinner for myself i don't know if my husband will be really into stuff like that my husband is really simple he likes his stuff simple he likes his basic rice and like just his regular ghana food and i love that because he doesn't like like complex stuff like <laughs> Give him simple food and he will eat it so i like that <laughs> but me i like to play around with my food i like to like make different stuff and like just play around with different recipes um so i'm gonna try to make some gnocchi with you guys today let me just quickly cook the potatoes for miss mamas so that she can you know eat and then i'm gonna make some gnocchi with you guys okay you know that i want to be good for you you know that I want to be good for you, I do But sometimes someone was bad for me Sometimes someone was bad, oh can't you see I'm just being weak mm -hmm. I think you know that I care for you I think you know that I care for you, I do But sometimes I can't be there for me Sometimes I can't be there, baby, can't you see that I'm just being me? I've been watching videos on TikTok, okay. <laughs> Sometimes we just colliding And we keep on fighting But we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love Sometimes we're just crying But we'll keep on trying I know we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love I don't want to be mad on you No, I don't want to be mad on things you do But sometimes I need what's best for me Sometimes I need what's best Baby, can't you see? Can't be there when you weep No, no, no Yes, I want you to be here for me Of course I want you to be here Don't disappear Sometimes I need you strong for me. Sometimes I need you strong. When I'm the first batch. I hope it looks good. My camera died, so I'm on my phone right now. So there's this trick that you can do with your fork. I know, I know that the camera is not exactly what you're wanting, but pardon me, okay? One second. So there's apparently this trick where you're able to like if you want to get the shape not not necessarily like the shape but like i don't know like <laughs> so on my knees goodness 
Jesus, look at what is happening to my gnocchi. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's so funny to me. I don't know what I did wrong. But they're not staying together. They are not staying together. So what I've had to do, I literally had to bring out some ice. I have some that is okay. I have some that's like totally messed up. Like so messed up. And then I have these ones. These ones are okay. And you guys can see they're still like breaking into like little pieces. But these ones are tough. These ones are tough. These ones are a bit tough. So these ones I can use. But all the other ones. <laughs> all these ones. Like they're okay. But like I don't know what is happening to them. I don't know if I didn't leave them to cook. I don't know. Maybe they're boiling. I didn't let it boil for long. Because it's supposed to boil for at least five minutes. And I don't know. I feel like that's what I did. But no. So I, I'm not using this. I'll just use these ones. Because these ones are not bad. These ones are pretty solid. Oh, can you imagine? Uh, like, I don't know. But I think it should have cooked longer. I think I could. I should have cooked it a little longer than I did. Um, but this is what I have right now. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I don't know how I feel. I'm gonna go make my stew. Oh, stay put. I don't question your love, I know it's there, and even if we don't agree, I know you care, cause baby, you and me, we meant to be. You don't question my love, you know it's there, and even if we don't agree, you know I can't. Let's try it out and see what it tastes like, or let me just tell you guys what I feel generally. Okay, so I have my fork, and then I have my gnocchi. I'm excited to try this out, so I'm just gonna... Hmm, I see. It's so nice and gooey. Is that what it's supposed to taste like? Because I've never tried it from anywhere else or anybody else. I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. So honestly, I don't know what to say. But... It's so nice and like... Gooey in your mouth. And that's exactly what I was craving today. I was craving something... Just something... Just something winter if it makes sense like i was craving something warm something soupy you know or just something something that has sauce around it so even if i didn't make this i was gonna make pasta um with some sauce so it's so nice i got one of the solid ones it's packed mm. it's packed like potato that like you can feel it's like you're eating little chunks of mashed potato in sauce it tastes good it tastes and because it's potato it doesn't feel different so but i think i feel like this will be so filling knowing how i like my food i just need a little bit <laughs> i honestly just need a little bit of this This is so nice and like so gooey on the inside but then it will also be so filling because it's like little balls of potato so you can imagine with flour and egg and all of that so it feels full when you put it in your mouth it does feel like filling and obviously your sauce your sauce has to be right because if it's not it's not gonna be right <laughs> yeah i feel like I shouldn't have been worried so much about the gnocchi, but I should worry about the sauce because, and I'm happy that I like my sauce because I've made it difficult for me to eat. But this is really good. This is actually really good. This is definitely, you know, gourmet type food in a restaurant. So they just give you like a scoop and then that's all. I feel like that's how you should eat this food. This is not the food that you can eat like two bowls, three bowls, no. <laughs> Just really something small. The gnocchi is filling. It really is filling. Like, I'm gonna let my husband try it out. Because it's potato, so he should like it. 
And I'm just gonna. He's eating rice right now. Me. Tasty me gnocchi, no shit. Hey, potato. Potato. Why? I'm mm. mashed potato. Mashed potato. Now I'm one. But my own mashed potato, we are all rolly. Now the pussy, I can craft Okay. Yeah. We're rolling into little balls. Now they are nice to you. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See? It's, nice. it's not so bad. It's so nice. I like it. My uncle. He said it's so nice. He likes it. He's saying it for you guys, okay? He's not saying it for me. He said, I like you. this one. <laughs> Because it's potatoes, it doesn't like it doesn't taste foreign to him. So that's why he even tried it out. If it wasn't potato, he wouldn't have tried it because he knows that I'd be doing crazy stuff with my food. This is definitely going to be like more of like a Sunday meal for me. You know, when I'm home and I have all the time, I'll take my time, make it, but not like work days. Cause I love I love making it actually. I would wanna make more, I would wanna perfect it knowing me i'm not going down like this like i have to make it better so hey guys happy sunday um i'm just coming on here to end the vlog i did put on a new wig but i am here to say thank you so much for watching this week's vlog i know i feel like this week's vlog was a little i don't know i just i feel like i was doing so much talking i don't know for whatever reason that's what i feel but thank you so much for watching i hope i'll see you in next week's vlog okay i'm literally about to start another vlog right now so bye